Ciao everyone. So we are back on uh, 75. Apologies if I haven't uploaded the video the next day like I said in the video. In the previous video. But I had some issue with some other cars. So I was virtually away from that job. So for the rear brakes. Before you just touch anything. You need to slack your handbrake. 10 millimeter, And use on that side if they are tight. A small vice grip just to hold the cable to don't start because otherwise it will start to spin and there's a 10 millimeter nut on the on the on this adjuster after that you got two cap 70 millimeter on the external side of the caliper this side that 70 millimeter plastic cap and you got that adjuster which is seven mil so to release them so clockwise you tighten them I'm not able to turn my wheel anymore clockwise you slack the brake so you release the, the adjustment on the inner side piston on the outer side instead you have sorry I have to move, move the camera On the other side you have this one, this adjuster, which you need a 17mm very very thin wall and a 5mm Allen key to adjust it. So I made a complete video when I'm going to put it back as well. And so, so that's the way you actually, you reset the brakes to dismantle them, you need to remove the drive shaft off of the disc, off of your disc. Which are 8mm. Be careful because those bolts are special, are threaded, the, tre the tread pitch is eight, uh, 10 by one so they're not very common and they're hiked in style as well so they must be at least 10.9 hiked in style or 12.9 if you want to upgrade them because they do slack yourself they do snap there is a lot of torque going in those bolts and that could drop and you just break down in the middle of the road so you remove those six bolts here in that case we need to remove and normally you don't have to take it off the wheels though so you just disconnect it on one side, drop the dry shaft, and you have another six bolt which are inside. And so the, the dish come off. On the top of the caliper, you have those pins, right? So you have this pin, you pull it off. And uh, of course there is also the spring, so pulling the things off, the pins off, and you just slide the, the pads up. And that's the dismantling procedure. Um, for the moment that's it, because uh, I've lost, as I said, for, we're waiting for two rear calipers. So, I don't know, I'll be here maybe Monday, Tuesday. And uh, I'll make a video when actually I'm going to adjust the brake as well, just put it back together. And I'll show you also that one, how it's adjust the adjustment system, how it works. And for the moment, that's it. So this is the rear brake stuff. Um, and I'm going to do also a video of the front brakes. I'm going to change front calipers, discs, uh, front wheel bearings as well. I'm going to do a tutorial as well on the rear wheel bra uh, bearings, which um, they're quite of... Um, a bit of a nightmare because of course you can't really put on the press uh, because of course the transaxle system the daddy on so basically is on the axle so you need to do it in place okay so 
I will update another video shortly, okay? Ciao, ciao, everyone.